Hey everyone, and welcome back to Anime on Draft, episode 90. I got the transition correct this time. I didn't have <laughs> pointing at me. Um, <laughs> anyways, thanks for joining us again. Um, I'm going to just start right off the bat. We got. I think we have a pretty, we, pretty busy episode, I think, especially with all the Shield Bro talk that we might get into. But um, let me start uh, off the do bat. Do you have huh? the uh, sound? Is that coming through correctly? Let me look. I mean... Because I'm not hear, not hearing anything hear? end of the stream. You're really? not hearing anything? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's showing up on... Let me let me listen to the stream. Hold on. It's showing up on OBS uh, that it's uh, sending audio. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. All right. You're good. You're good. Was it not sending yeah. it before? Were you muted? I, I no, can, no, no. I can hear it on there. Oh, you're good. Okay, it's good. Sorry about that. All right. All right. Well, hey, we got audio. <laughs> We're sure that we have audio. So, hey, that's a plus right there. Um, anyways, let, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just jump into the social media. Let me pull that up here. Um, <clears throat> so, we've got our WordPress, animeondraft.wordpress.com. Check out our Twitter for updates um, from our wonderful, wonderful Mark. Um, he, he updates that stuff. That's animeondraft, at animeondraft. Instagram is Anime on Draft Podcast, so you can see pictures Wait. of the beers and cool events that we're going to wait. Why did you say Anime on Draft at Anime on Draft? Isn't it just at Anime on Draft? Yeah, just at us, at Anime, Anime on Draft. Draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, we're also on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. Just search for Anime on Draft. And then last but not least, we have an email, animeondraft at gmail.com. So enough of that nonsense that I can never seem to get through correctly. <laughs> um, let's just get into the beer here. Um, we It's St. Patrick's Day today that we're recording. So Mark is the chooser. We chose the, He chose the Innocent Gun uh, Kindred Spirits Irish Whiskey Barrel Age Oh, you got Stout. the... I nice. got the box because it's got like the description on it and stuff. It says, our smooth Scottish stout meets Irish whiskey barrels in our unique aging process to create a flavor-packed beer with notes of dark chocolate and coffee alongside hints of vanilla and oak. Find out how we put the barrels in the beer at innocentgun.com. But anyway, so uh, Mark, what inspired you this week to pick this beer? Uh, so there's it? this little there's this little holiday uh, that's set on March 17th. Mm -mm. Got a little um, holiday. Yeah, not many know about it. Uh, it's, it's definitely cool. not celebrated around no, the world. Definitely not. Um, and it's definitely. No, I mean, it's St. Patty's Day, yeah. and it just happens that it happens that you know we record on Sundays, and it figured it was a perfect day. That's a good um, we we usually try to do like some seasonal beers uh, now and then. I know we had like last year, um, like the Christmas ales. We had mm -hmm. some pumpkin and the pumpkin rumpkin. We had, uh, a, we had lot a Valentine's one. We had a whole month of pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I think we did. <laughs> Which I was uh, happy about. I love those beers, so keep you them do. coming. You do. You really like them. So that good. rumpkin is good, though, right? Yeah, that, with all you, the you had it after chunks it. in it. Uh, yours didn't like, look as bad as mine did, though. No, but. no, yours had the chunks. Mine was smooth. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I got my beer here, too. Mine says Duvel, though. It doesn't say Anime on Draft. Anime on Draft cup is uh, dirty, because I used it the other day, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, I figured it, well, we also last week were talking about porters and stouts. We were so we were. Uh, yeah, it's a good choice. To, this week stout. would be a good choice, and that's yep. you know a good a good segue into into what I'm supposed to do this week, which is the I think we came we called it Tilla today. I learned with Alec Tilla, the Tilla <laughs> segment. Um, so the Tilla segment. Tilla. Yeah, I'll just get into this real quickly, and then we can jump into the beer. It's not going to be quick. It's going to be a little long. There's a little bit of history we got to go through here. So what I kind of went through um, when I was doing some extensive research, and I went to multiple libraries, the Smithsonian included, of course. <laughs> the Smithsonian um, uh, Library of Beer. Um, but anyways, what I kind of came up with is Porter is a dark beer with roasted malt. I'm reading off my thing. The Porter name first appeared in 1721 and originates from London when a bar owner, he used to blend beers and he actually would blend three beers for his customers. He got tired of blending so much. So he hired a guy and he paid him and said, just recreate this beer to match this beer. And, uh, so the hmm. guy created a beer called Entire, which, um, 
the name didn't stick because the the main customers that he was serving this beer were porters and so the beer started because basically started getting called a porter, um, porter. but um a porter okay, okay yeah so there's actually very very little evidence that this story is true whatsoever but i thought it was really neat so i included <laughs> so, it just because so it could just yeah. be but that's false, that's like... what you found though on the smithsonian no 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 that was actually i was i was making that that was this wikipedia was on, wasn't this was, that was no wikipedia. no i actually <laughs> yeah. found that same story on multiple different websites um and they seemed reputable. I, I looked. Some of them had like decent sources at the bottom. And then Wikipedia did actually have that as well. So, um, <clears throat> but whether or not it's true, we don't know. Uh, basically, the and then the the term stout. Uh, I think the first time it was used to describe a beer, a lot of people say it was uh, 1677 was when it was first used. It basically just <laughs> described a bolder, higher alcohol version of any beer type. Um, and so when brewers made a stronger version of the popular beer of the time, the Porter, the stout Porter was born. And eventually, I mean like who wants to keep calling it a, a stout Porter? So it got shortened and it became a stout. Um, so yeah, mm. that's, that's kind of that. There's nice. a little more. I got a little more cause I really oh was excited. I, you really, you I was really, really like excited. I did. I did. And so I, I was, I was excited because, um, a lot of brewers, there's, you know, there's a lot of, um, um, what is it? Discussion or disagreement on if there's a difference historically, <laughs> it doesn't really seem like there is a difference. And now with the, you know, the advent of so many craft brewers and brewers making so many different styles, um, it's definitely even it's blurred even more, but what they do agree on is that the main difference between the styles is that stouts seem to be drier and toastier while porters are more malty and full bodied. And this could be since most stouts are un use unmalted roasted barley and porters use malted barley. Um, okay. And then the very last distinct malted, distinction okay. that I okay, found okay. was the names. Porters have three types, brown porter, robust porter, Baltic porter. Stouts have six types, dry, sweet, which includes milk stout and all that. Oatmeal, foreign, extra, American, and Russian imperial. So what well, is the difference between porters and stouts, you still ask? Well, you could say historically not very much, or you could also <laughs> say it depends on who you ask. But one thing we do know is they're delicious, and we love them. There we go. That's Yay. that's today I learned with Alec. <laughs> I went I went ham on this one. I was actually really excited because I that love stouts. So, um, all right, that's why I figured it would be that's like that the perfect topic the for you. Exact to amount of time it took for the head to dissipate on this. There we day. go. Yeah, hey, so a few one. minutes. It's not too bad. You left with a nice little creamy lacing there or a creamy little foam oh that looks look at that that like when you that looks beautiful yeah it's got mm. some legs on there Ooh, that's a pretty beer but uh yeah so how about we uh we dive into this with a little more knowledge of uh stouts and see if we can notice a difference between that uh you know that that malted or unmalted etc cetera, etc cetera. who knows it's very very um very like roasty Mm-hmm. And the smell. It kind of smells coffee, um, like a coffee roast. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't tried it yet, but... I was mm. getting a lot of coffee notes. That was, like, the first thing I smelled as soon as I mm. opened it up was, like, a barrel-aged and then, like, got, like, coffee <clears throat> right up the nose. So, um, very, when I was reading roasty. about stouts versus porters, the coffee scent and flavor that a lot of people attribute to stouts uh they said comes the from roast. the unmalted roasted barley hmm. that makes sense interesting that's a lot of like the reason why mm -hmm. um you get the kind of chocolate flavor is from the mm -hmm. the roasting of the malt as well mm -hmm. yeah so it's a dark beer if you can't tell real dark which um original that kind of fits with the the history of porters in in general um it's just a dark beer stouts the history of it was just it's strong um but kind of stouts these days tend to be dark beers now i'm getting yep. not too much green. um not too much um malt actually but i am getting a lot of the kind of the roasty coffee notes from it but not too much yeah. of like the malty flavor but I am getting some of that Irish um, barrel age taste in into the in the finish. I definitely yeah. get like the woody 
in the finish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes like you can taste like the cast that they were that they were brewed in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I do have to say it's not too strong. It's not oh. like a super boozy flavor, mm-hmm. like a barrel aged flavor. Um, yeah. Some of like the Bourbon County barrel aged are like that straight up mm-hmm. tastes like you're drinking like whiskey with a beer. Yeah. Um, and even like the come uh, out, like soy saucy is how I like to describe it. They get that weird. They're very yeah. syrupy and syrupy. It has mm-hmm. like a very kind of funky very flavor. Thin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one's actually it's a little bit lighter, um, yeah. which is good actually because. <clears throat> It, what's the percentage on this? It's like 6. nine. 1. That's what I'm looking. Oh, Six point okay. one. What? I'm actually. That's that actually. Wow. That also kind of fits with like <laughs> the the history stuff that I was reading. Is a lot of yeah. uh, porters and and these like these beers, the the dark beers that they had that originated in in like the London area were weaker on the weaker alcohol side. They weren't really strong. So that's why Porter eventually got called a stout Porter or an extra or a bold or a strong. Um, they got all those different names to describe it. So like it because fits of that, with the original like idea of what these things are because of what? Because the stout, the stout Porter was stronger than the regular Porter. Yeah. The stout saying? Porter would be heavier and more alcoholic than a regular Porter. So that's, that's <laughs> the amount that I've heard is that like, usually there's more into a stout, like in terms of ingredient wise and then mm-hmm. the alcohol content. Mm. That the thing that was like one of the initial <clears throat> initial things that we found in like you know a couple of weeks ago and we, we were trying to figure out between stout and porter was like mm-hmm. yeah well like one is heavier than the other yeah. but I don't think we went into depth <laughs> no and and now like the difference it, it can be whatever you want because you know their brewers are like yeah I'm gonna make a stout but then they take their own take on it and it's you know crazy and it's like well it's a stout because I called it a stout so a lot of these people they'll like brewers will call certain beers stouts or port or porters just because they prefer it in some cases, like it'll be brewed like this mm-hmm. beer, but they'll call it the other one. Just uh, because. I don't know if I, I don't know if I agree with, with that <clears throat> because like it is kind of, there is kind of a gray area, but it's not like there, there is some sort of definition between the two. So yeah, I don't, I don't I, agree with, I think I feel like it comes down to brewing process, up. but how they get rated, it's still like the the people who rate them will rate them based <laughs> yeah. off of like I didn't yeah. pop what they up. are off yeah. of like what they are and how they're brewed. Yeah, because the yeah. the part that I was talking about where it was um <clears throat> like the the styles that they have and then um, drier toasty versus malty full body that came from the American Brewers Association. And so mm. that's their definition of like. Stout so porter. that's another thing is that I'm sure some of it kind of also will change according to like regions. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of American brewers don't necessarily brew with like the same <clears throat> hops or malts that, you know, European brewers will have. So I'm sure like there might be some differences there as well. Um, There's also when w- the, like the region, sometimes the regions where the beers come from tell like, say like, it's not this unless it's brewed there. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. You're like you're talking about like the the Munich. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, so, a lot of the German whoa. Bavarian beers <laughs> that? are like that. And then, I think like, a the... lot of Europeans would probably consider this a, a a porter. Their definition of a stout, like a lot of London people, because it's you know weaker alcohol. But I think if you gave this to a lot of Americans and were like, "Here's a stout," they're like, "That's not a stout. It's not ten percent alcohol, mm. and it doesn't taste like chocolate probably, or yeah. something." So especially bourbon or barrel aged like yeah. these days, that's kind of the definition that's coming up in America. It seems like you say stout and people are like imperial stout, Some, something really heavy and strong, lots of alcohol, mm-hmm. lots of like complicated flavors in some cases or really coffee forward, that sort of thing. So this is definitely yeah. like a weaker <clears throat> taste and flavor. It reminds but, me like, of I don't, Guinness. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Like the... <clears throat> It it does remind me a lot of the other um, <laughs> stout Irish stout that, uh, the other one that you yeah that, that, that one may, the bear ride, um, riding the red can excuse me <laughs> so it but it does have that distinct um, like taste of like the the oak mm-hmm. um, from the Irish mm-hmm. the Irish um, casks but mm-hmm. I don't really taste like. <clears throat> I'm not really big on Irish whiskey, so the flavors kind of escape me. I don't really taste like what I would ex- like when you get a bourbon, 
barrel aged um, beer, you taste the bourbon in a lot of cases. Um, and it mm. has that sweetness that, that comes from it. I don't really taste the Irish. I taste more of like the cask than like the alcohol flavor. So, which is good. I, I, I really I like think the flavor that, it has, that, but. that is kind of like the flavor of Irish whiskey though. Is there is casky. a lot of the, well, no, there's just a lot of the kind of earthy notes from the, mm. um, from the aging because like, um, that would make what sense is this? This one's, this one's aged in, in Tullamore Dew Barrels, I think. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what it said. Um, I mean, which to be quite honest, I'm not like a huge fan of Tullamore Dew. <laughs> I the, I've had it once, and I was like, Meh. I I haven't really delved too much into Irish whiskey. I haven't either. Um, I'm a Scotch bourbon rye guy. I'm more of a I'm more into Scotch and bourbon, but <clears throat> from what I can, I guess surmise like you guys have all had Jameson, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and Bushmills and. It nonsense. <laughs> those are more. <laughs> the the those aren't like really smoky or um, no or anything. They're kind of a little more sweet and uh, and earthy. Um, I don't know. I'm getting kind of the earthiness. I really like the smell of this beer. It does smell good. <clears throat> it would be really. I think this would be a good beer if you were just <clears throat> outside at like a picnic table. You like in a park or something. You got all the naturey smells. This has a nice nature smell. You're just like, this is relaxing. This is nice. Yeah. I also you know, expect like, this to be good on a rainy day, which makes sense because it rains a lot <laughs> on St. Patrick's Day. But <laughs> yeah. Well, when you mention that, it, like you can taste like the wood from the from the barrels. Uh, a lot of occasions that taste kind of um, like synthetic. It almost tastes fake. Like mm-hmm. we talked about this before too, like when they, mm-hmm. when some beers are brewed in, um, you know, like whiskey barrels or bourbon barrels, they will kind of forego like the long aging process and just, you know, chop up, chop up some of the barrels, like smoke them and then like compress like some of the juices out in, like into it. Um, so they'll you just get literally that kinda, throw like, the wood into or the, they'll throw, yeah, they'll throw like chips batch. into it. Yeah. So it tastes like that. It gets that flavor, but when you have something that like this that is actually like you know age for a certain number of months like three six months um you get some of that woody flavor and it doesn't taste as fake it doesn't taste um, coconutty or like syrupy r- yeah right yeah 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 that's the one is coconutty is that you know somebody mentioned um but i think that this is like a it's like a nice like kind of a um nice woody flavor i don't know that sounds weird to say but it's like no, I mean, you kind yeah, of enjoy that because yeah. you can appreciate that you that it actually came it's from like a, a barrel like right yeah you can the taste the whiskeys. taste well, the casks whiskey, in yeah. the mm-hmm. in your whiskey if you yeah. um <laughs> if you take a sip and yes. then right after you swallow you breathe through your mouth you get a lot of the grain and and wood flavor that you're talking about like pretty strongly um mm-hmm. just like as soon as you just like it just it hits you pretty good it's tasty it, yeah if if any of the uh, of the listeners or the or the viewers want to kind of learn a little bit more about like the maturation process, um, you can watch stuff by Garrett Oliver. He mm-hmm. is a uh, like the co-founder <clears throat> of the Brooklyn Brewery, and uh, he talks a lot about that. But if you are a whiskey fan, um, <clears throat> if you aren't subscribed to and like watching videos from the Whiskey Tribe, um, they you should. <laughs> you should yeah but like they, they do cool. yeah. they do do some They're videos on much. on one of their channels i think it's whiskey vault is is the no yeah, yeah. no yeah it's whiskey vault whiskey, that does the, the random the random videos but um like on that on th- that Both specific channel of theirs um they <laughs> they do uh um they talk about the maturation process uh in some of their videos and how mm-hmm. how to like how whiskey is aged and kind of how the flavors Mm. develop over time and like the difference between um the certain uh barrel strengths and you know how they roast the uh the casks and all that it's pretty interesting but yeah that's if you're a big whiskey cool youtube series but uh yeah whiskey whiskey vault and um the whiskey their other channel i think it's whiskey Whiskey tribe Tribe. yeah whiskey tribe yeah yeah, mm-hmm. it, I mean, um, oops, my phone's going off. They uh, they also go over the whole distillation process and you know how they people used to bang specific dents into their 
distillery things just because they were like, oh, it's good luck. We got to make. And now they were talking about how now in the like in the future, they're like, oh, well, that actually plays a big part in why it tastes the way it tastes like. And so that was kind of cool. So them just banging to make it look the same out of superstition that they were like, it needs to be this way was actually right, <laughs> apparently. So that's kind of cool. But um, hmm. what would you guys eat with this? Like what what would you pair with this uh, for dinner? Or lunch or dinner? breakfast. I mean, pair with it. Yeah, yeah. What would you pair with? Uh, it? Corn beef and hash. Mm. Uh, some cabbage. <laughs> Maybe some blood cabbage. sausage. Haggis. Oh, blood sausage. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't have haggis in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to Scotland. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what I would. I could probably. I don't know. Even some like meats or like uh, like braised meat, I think would be pretty good. I think feel like that's what I want to eat right now. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like I would just drink this on its own, and then if anything, maybe some beer nuts is mm. is what would go. I think beer nuts would be really good. I mm. although braised meat does sound really good right now. Maybe just because because I'm hungry. It, it might be because I'm hungry as I'm. You know, <laughs> it on sounds delicious. Like some like really like tender meat. Mhm. I don't know something not smoky though. I think a sweeter mm, yeah. like a meat with a sweet flavor. Yeah, maybe. Maybe something. like barbecue type oh, of some, you know, something. Like barbecue wings, maybe. I don't know. Mm. But maybe, um. Yeah. But yeah, enjoying this on its own is also pleasant. Yeah. Maybe maybe because it cheeses. won't get you super drunk. I didn't realize that the ABV was so low. No, that's really. Nice, actually. Yeah. Cheese its That's what I'm saying. Cheese its Be Dang. delicious with everything. But uh, yeah. anyway, so how about we start off with you, Mark? Uh, what do you think you would uh, rate this bad boy? Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. Um, I'm having a tough time with this. Like, I, I enjoy it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, but I, I am a fan of, like, those a little mm. bit more, like, boozier um, barrel-aged beers. Uh, like the Victory at Sea, that barrel aged um, Sukaba. I mean, those are like some of my favorites, and those are pretty boozy. More robust um, very, flavors. Yeah, very strong. Um, but I mean, this is still good. Like, it's very drinkable. It's. Uh, I'll probably give it like a, a four, maybe four two five. I don't know. I think the ones you were mentioning too are. Um, this is more like to me the the way it feels on my palate is more watery. Those are mm-hmm. like cl- uh, creamier or heavier. They're yeah, they're yeah. very heavy. So, uh, Rolando, what about you? Um, I'm kind of along the lines of liking the more, um, I guess, Americanized stouts <clears throat> and porters, the yeah. ones with more robust flavors. Uh, this one's kind of w- w- like we've been already been saying is more of a watered down, weaker flavor, but um, it does make it easy to drink. Um, I don't know if this would replace Guinness for me in that terms, in yeah. those terms, but. Um, it's a decent beer. I'm going to say like, you know, three, seven, five. I mean, <clears throat> I agree with you guys. I like the, the stouts that we've been having here on the show for a while. Um, mm-hmm. um, I like milk stouts a whole lot and you know, the chocolate coffee stouts and the just, you know, those kinds of stouts. I think this is really good. And like I've said in the past, Guinness is one of my, you know, go to's it's not anything because I think it's spectacular, and this reminds me a lot of Guinness. It just feels like a more upscale, more expensive version of, of Guinness to me. Um, the flavor's a little cleaner, I think, uh, for for this one at least. It, it's smoother. Um, but the I really like the whole nitro aspect of the Guinness, how it's super creamy and the way it feels when you drink it. Um, <clears throat> so mm. I think they're both good beers, a little different. The flavors obviously are a little different because of the Irish whiskey, but... I think I'm going to go along with Mark and I, I'll give it a four, um, but I'm going to agree with Rolando. I don't think it will replace Guinness because Guinness is just cheaper. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good, good point. Yeah. But <coughs> anyways, um, with that, we've got we've got our beer and let's move into our uh, our pairing of the week. This week we have Promise Neverland. Is it episode 10? I think I think so. I think it's ten. Let me look real fast. Episode ten, yes. Episode ten. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. God, this one's got me burping. Got me. Got me burping (laughs) here. Got me burping here. here. Um, (laughs) But it was a it was a crazy episode. I thought it was a really good episode. 
and I think it left me with a whole lot of questions. And one mm-hmm. I kind of want to pose to you guys just right off the bat: Where's Norman? Do you think he's dead? Where was that room? Where'd he end up? Is he in a ditch? Just you know, they're like, "Fuck it, his brain sucks." Because he's smiling because he, got sick all the he time. can't say anything. <clears throat> Mark can't, <laughs> he can't say anything. Mark can't Mark, say anything. Have you already read? Huh? Have you, you already read know this what part happens? I I don't know what happens. Oh, oh gonna, now we oh, finally get to hear his. Now opinions. we can have some discussion. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> So Mark, you know, what do you think? Just, I don't know. He it. comes back as a know. ghost now, man. <laughs> do you think he's <laughs> just dead, kidding? <laughs> no, I don't no. know. I I don't know. I don't That's tough for me to say. Hundred percent. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's I'm dead. I'm curious. I was just curious if you guys had any theories on what was in the room, or I think I think this was. Maybe. I think maybe this was <clears throat> Isabella's plan the whole time is to try was, and get these oh. try and get these kids to. Um, become the next generation. Beca- of- not become the next generation, but like possibly infiltrate, um, and like the whole like the air like, organization, organization. Down the whole organization, yeah. bust the puzzle from the wall. inside. Yeah, <clears throat> like I think the whole thing about escaping and all of that <clears throat> is kind of um like a now it's like it's be, it was like this main plot point, escaping. but now there might Mm -hmm. either be a branching plot point where now we have like maybe another side to the Mm -hmm. whole thing um or it could be that norman's dead and they're still gonna fucking escape but i don't think it it's really gonna make any sense anymore if they don't have some sort of inside help so norman Mm -hmm. probably is alive i'm gonna guess and he's gonna help them escape I think he's alive. I'm really curious to see like what was in that room that she wanted to have him wait in there for. And he seemed surprised when he went in there. So, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out, but, uh, um, yeah. Or, I mean, or think, he just met the, the fucking King yeah. guy and just, and got he's like, right Oh, thanks. There. Yeah. And just, yeah. He's like, Oh right <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, nice brain, dude. <laughs> nice brain. <laughs> nice brain, bud. Nice brain. <laughs> the, um, the other actual, um, Oh, sorry. Hang on. I'm trying to make sure my phone doesn't vibrate. Uh, the other, the other thing that I kind of wanted to throw out there was Rolando last week, you were talking about, um, the kids and you were thinking like this generation would die and the next generation would kind of take over the, the escape plan or throwing everything down. And I think we kind of saw a, a stronger role of the kids. Like they actually talked more like, Phil didn't just say, hi, mama, you know, he, they were talking when Norman was going to leave or they were saying, you know, they seem really depressed what's going on. And uh, I think they had a stronger role. So I was wondering, does this like, does this episode solidify your, your thoughts on the younger generation taking over? Yeah. I think, I think so. It's like the two boys, the blonde kid and the black haired kid and, uh, Phil and then galaxy brain. Galaxy. Galaxy brain. He's got like they're Norman. They already, they already like seem like they know a little bit more. They had mm-hmm. they're a bit more. I mean, they probably don't have fetus amnesia, so no, maybe, dude. <laughs> God, not again. <laughs> uh, I hope that I hope that never comes up. <laughs> I, I I don't know from reading the manga. I can't say if it does or not. They <laughs> they they seem like they're a bit more uh, in tune with mm-hmm. what's like their surroundings and what's going on. Yeah. So I I think they're they're gonna play a bigger role. It doesn't make sense for um, them to be like this and and then just to just be dumb side characters that don't right. do anything. I agree. <laughs> after this episode, like before I was like, I can kind of see it. But after this episode, I was definitely like, they have to play a larger role now, especially since even like Norman specifically called out Phil and was like, take care of Emma. Like that alone, I think. Uh, what then? He just goes and dies or something. He's like, "Oh, I saved you," and then he dies. He you jumps know, off the cliff. The, he jumps off the cliff. I don't know, you know. <laughs> so I just, I think they're definitely gonna play a larger role as well, because um, the things they're noticing are stuff that, <clears throat> you know, we kind of notice. And normally, when characters notice it, they tend to have a bigger role. And I don't know. It, I agree. I think it would be really dumb if they just added all these these lines and them noticing stuff and having this kind of effort in the show and then it was like oh by the way mm. they're dead nothing <laughs> happened yeah yep. so um and then there was actually one other thing all right there's a couple things i noticed a lot of stuff this episode was really good uh did you notice isabella's face after she was walking away from emma on the bed 
So she she's like walking away and Emma's crying on the bed and she turns with like an angry face and then looks genuinely sad as she like her face saddens and then she leaves the room and it cuts the scene like when she was telling her like oh you can become a mom and that sort of thing so i thought that was interesting um mark did you have any theories did you notice that yeah i mean that was like one of those things where uh she was hoping that she would say yes um because she knows you know like how that's how like clever Emma is mm-hmm. and it would it would save her you know like if she were to give her recommendation to Emma to you know run one of the farms then that would save her life potentially and then yeah who knows maybe it could end up being one of those things where she helps uh, kind of take down the organization later um or you know could work alongside Isabella at some point um but yeah I mean I, I think she also was kind of just like upset that she didn't say yes but then again, and she's like, well, sorry, like, you know, I put my hand out there to help you. And if you're not going to take it, then you're still going to get shipped <laughs> out. Like, <laughs> I have 35 other kids here. <laughs> I mean, I I kind of I kind of see it as she she may have shown like an angry face because she herself couldn't make that decision when she was in Emma's shoes. <clears throat> like she probably sees it as some sort of weakness in herself that when she was given the opportunity to become the mom and stay um to become a mom and stay alive that uh she chose that point and she probably sees it as some sort of weakness that she couldn't stand up for her own ideals like Emma is. I I mm. agree. I was I was going to ask yeah, but... that as well cuz I think the the expressions she had when she said no and was, you know, acting that way, it was more angry than you would expect from her just offering, you know, a um <clears throat> essentially a business deal like hey you could be a mom okay all right you know if you she really if she didn't really care <laughs> she'd be like ah, oh, well okay you're gonna die i'll just get another one you know um and when she made that face when she was leaving it made me think even though she's kind of this crazy person like she she genuinely cares and then the other thing i was curious about is she said you become a mom you become an adult have a kid and then become a mom and yeah, so what if emma is is her, her child yeah, yeah. And she wants I to about save that too. her. And grandma is Isabella's mom. I don't know. So, <clears throat> Or what if Norman was her kid? Norman could. Yeah, and that's why he's in a room and not in a monster's belly. <laughs> so, <laughs> or I mean, his brain, at least. It's pretty interesting. Um, I think there's a lot of different ways they could go with it, which makes the story really yeah, What if they're all her kids? They're all they're her, all her oh kids? Oh, my God. Holy, Holy shit. shit. She had fucking 37 Damn. tuplets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, but they just like brood tuplets. in her over time. Wait, that's but why they're such an all age different gap. ages. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. makes sense. It makes sense. Test tubes, if there's, test if there's tubes. infantile amnesia that's gone, then it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Maternal <laughs> amnesia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's like, oh, this is another twin. Well, it's been twelve years, but it's been there. <laughs> oh man. Um, all will be revealed with the pen. The pen has a child in it. It's a test the tube. The pen. Oh man, that's the. That's where the children the are coming children. from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's it's not test tube babies, it's pen babies. But it's it, it's lined with lead, <laughs> so the scanners can't tell detect anything inside of there because Ooh. it's lead. Wow. But that also gives the infant prevents the infantile amnesia. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Man, you're getting dangerously closer. Wow. Galaxy yeah, yeah, yeah. brain. <laughs> Mark Mark's admitting it here. Oh shit. Uh, we'll oh, we'll stop before we spoil have... the rest of the story for for our listeners. Uh, that could be bad. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm... kind of the last thing I think that I know like thought was cool about the show. They they ended with Emma's mischievous ass face, saying she yeah, hadn't yeah. given up, and so I'm curious to see what plans she has. And I don't know. Uh, I I'm just kind of I hope that Ray comes back from this is and isn't just like Ugh, I give up and then there's a whole episode of like trying to convince him to join again. I really hope that it's I I don't like those episodes. I think they're boring and stupid. I understand where you need it in a story, but you can do it shorter than some animes have done where it's like an entire episode. And I'm like, just do it in five minutes. Like we understand that it was a day long process of convincing him right before he died. Blah blah blah. So yeah, <clears throat> but. I, no, I could see that. Yeah, that would that would seem kind of weird if they were trying <coughs> to convince him. But I mean, that kind of twist at the end, I don't know if it seemed like I don't know if that's saying like giving away too much uh, for the next episode. Um, 
I felt like they they probably could have ended it on like more of a cliffhanger. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> just, just like I'm trying not to like give away anything from the next episode, but like he I knows. definitely feel like he knows. Yeah, I definitely feel like the like her saying like that smile at least is like she didn't give up. Right. Um, I feel like that's already saying a lot. It says that's a lot. I kinda... think that it would have been like I think it would have been more fun or more if they had done like an inception type ending where you know they the top is spinning they or woke whatever. up yeah they woke up <laughs> no, and so like instead of her showing the face he just says like you haven't given up have you and then they cut and to it's her norman's face, face. and it's <laughs> and they cut to her face there. and she hasn't done that <laughs> grin or whatever and then they could make it so it looks like she's about to make a grin but she doesn't and you're like oh shit yeah, that's that would like, have been cool. That would have been a really good ending. I think that would have been a really good like season ending, rather than an episode ending. But it would have been a really good episode ending. No, too. there's there's more to come. There's more to come. There's right. still a lot more in this season. We still have what two, three? Ep- yeah. I think only two episodes left. Is it twelve or thirteen? <laughs> uh, a lot's going to happen apparently, cool. according to Mark's uh, facial expressions. He's giving away a lot. He's saying a lot right there with just that smile. No, <laughs> no, but <laughs> just like Emma, just like Emma. Um, yeah, that, <clears throat> but yeah. anyways, yeah. I don't show. know. I, I think, um, at least with, uh, <clears throat> w- with what you were saying, um, with how they have to like convince Norman, mm-hmm. um, I, what Ray? show were we talking about? I mean, or Ray? Ray? Yeah. yeah. Ray? What show dead. were we talking so about? Right. Um, we were talking about another show where we kind of liked how they resolved the conflict pretty quickly on on something like they see it seemed like they were gonna drag it out for like an episode or two it was like last mm. season i think mm. Mm. <clears throat> definitely wasn't attack on titan no I, no, no. <laughs> I don't know i don't know either <clears throat> there was definitely a show we were talking about recently um not this season but like we it was like a similar situation mm-hmm. with the uh Result like you they could drag it out but they resolved it like pretty quickly i feel like that's what they're gonna do with the with this one because it doesn't seem like there's much time left if there's two episodes left no there's no no there's not left. yeah and then uh they all um one last thing is that they also didn't do the dumbass um uh oh fuck uh long ass uh cg shots <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah thank god like yeah. luckily this episode the two times they did it it was a short walking scene yeah. um and then uh <clears throat> yeah, the other time was was that um outward zoom on the uh staircase with emma crying yeah. um mm-hmm. like kind of bent over and crying where she that was it that was actually a that was actually a cool shot i thought so but too. um uh Definitely more used to seeing that in real footage, uh, where like you can see the actual like depth of the of the footage rather yeah, than just, just like, like this weird flat. static. Yeah. Everything is in focus shot, and it was just kind of weird and kind of disorienting. It might have yeah, been cool. Yeah, that's like that limitation. It's not, it's not perfect. If but, they had right. they're at least stuff, but... yeah, they're at least trying to be. It was a cool shot though. It was a good a good attempt, and uh, I think it was cool because she collapsed, and then they cut to that above, and that was, I thought it was pretty neat. So, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, good show, good show all in all. Um, I have to yeah. pull up the script here because uh, I minimized it trying to find the show. Was it um Zombie Land though? The show you were talking about? I don't think it was Zombie Land, mm-hmm. but I don't that know. was last season. <laughs> um, well, let's move on to our, our uh. My little series can't be this rewatched. Was it Orishira? Orishiri? Orishiri. 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 Yeah, our Orishiri series. Idol Master. We watched episodes 17 and 18. Um, yeah. We kind of went back to a, like, it, the, the episodes are kind of about individual characters. This time we had Makoto and um, Ritsuko uh, this week. Um, I guess, I mean, the first one I kind of saw coming. She wants to be a princess, but everyone sees her as a prince. And then, you yep. know, she's going to end up she's going to end up with a woman in the end. That's just what's going to happen. She's going to turn into a lesbian. So. With Yukiho. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. With, with Yukiho. Yukiho so. Cuz she uh, she hates boys. We we didn't really get an episode of her <laughs> I kind of just lost over that. <laughs> we didn't get an episode of her um in the first season, did we? Like 
a uh, highlighting episode for Makoto. <laughs> like, I think no. I think we, we only got like a segment. We got her like running through fighting those people. Fighting, that was yeah, her yeah. segment, that was, but not showing who she was, is. Like wanting that was more in, uh, yeah, it was an Oz's episode. Yeah, yeah. It was like um, she's the prince. <laughs> That's literally what. It yeah. Like when it started out, I thought about that. I was like, "Oh, like we haven't gotten an episode of her." Mm -hmm. I was like, "All right, like that's kind of cool." Um, but it it kind of went exactly how I figured it was going to. It's like as soon as it started, I was like, "Oh, he's gonna try to take her on a date and like tell her that she it's that it's she's okay pretty. that she's a, a woman and also you know <laughs> tomboyish and yeah, had pats. You're pretty. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I kind of figured it was gonna happen like that. But it was still a good episode. Yeah, I, I liked it. I like Makoto. I like I like I think uh, her character. character. She's one of the least annoying characters, I think. I think because she's she seems like a very genuine character in everything she does and says. She's not yeah. like super agenda. Her agenda literally is I don't want to be a prince anymore, but I'll try really hard anyways because it makes people happy or some shit. Like that's that's pretty much who she is. Um, what I yeah. did notice in the, both of these episodes was that Miki still annoys the shit out of me. Hey, honey, <laughs> did you go on a date with her, honey? I'm like, stop fucking calling him honey, you 12 year old. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's kind of creepy. creepy. That's another out. thing I thought about it was that, like, <clears throat> uh, producer is kind of on a, a date with, like, yeah. a 12 year old a, girl with that like a 13, is a boy, tomboy. Yeah. That's a tomboy. I'll be like, yeah. I think she's like 15 or 16. I don't yeah. think she's but 12. But even still, way, what is he like? 22? Yeah, either way, it's, it's uh, illegal <laughs> yeah. and slightly creepy. And, and very creepy. I mean, he was kind of dragged into it. So, I mean, I understand. Yeah. That. You know, but it happens all the time. Yeah, he always goes on dates with underage girls. It's so <laughs> he's just a, he's somebody just, report he this guy to the average UN. everyday pedophile. <laughs> he can't even say it's for work. He report just, this guy it. to the UN. <laughs> Please. Oh I mean, he's a nice guy and all, yeah, but, but man, you need time to draw some boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, um, poor, yeah, go ahead. Through, through this, th this episode is just kind of. Your typical, um, if this were a harem anime, <clears throat> this is kind of mm -hmm. your typical um, character development episode for a character. Mm -hmm. um, the but they did of the harem. <laughs> they did kind of uh, <laughs> <laughs> they they did kind of um, reinsert <laughs> the kind of conflict with Jupiter again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know. Just what do you think about which Jupiter really annoyed and, me yeah. because they're like oh we don't care what he does to you yeah, guys we're gonna beat we're, you with skill. just play on our level it's yeah. like well they can't fight <laughs> yeah. on your level because this <laughs> because this douchebag <laughs> will always beat you with skill <laughs> but you're not because of this dickhole uh, it, I that's thought, the problem how do you not understand this are you stupid <laughs> it, it's because like they're always talking about like you guys are playing like underhanded shit and then yeah. and then you um, fucking producers like do you not know what your fucking president did yeah. like to they're us like, oh we and they're like we well it doesn't matter that. you guys are fucking shitholes <laughs> like i don't care what he did we're gonna fucking beat you with talent and it's just like you were literally <laughs> complaining the fucking shit for the last three episodes about them playing underhanded and then yeah. you find out that like maybe that's not true and then you're just like well whatever any anyways <laughs> whatever dude I feel yeah, like it's going to be one of those things where they find out what happens and then they're like, oh my God, we're on your side and then everything's okay. We'll, we'll find out. It seems like it'll yeah, go that know. way. I don't know. But who knows? I, we'll I do see. have a question. We'll did, find did, out. Do either the other Jupiter guys, do they ever like say anything no. besides like, no. yeah. <laughs> it's, always, like, it's just Toma. Is the, <laughs> honey. The is that one dude. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Bro. <laughs> Bro, they go, yeah. And so, I, oh, I honestly, so, 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 so. I honestly didn't expect uh, this much Miki hate to come out while while watching this. It's pretty. It's actually pretty surprising. <laughs> From us or just I, in general? In general, yeah. Oh, in gen yeah. Because yeah, like, know. I don't think she. I don't even think she's that <clears throat> like hated of a character. It was just like she's just annoying. I just I think it's creepy. I think it's weird and the attitude she has where she's just like, "Honey, honey, why are you on a date, honey?" It's just creeping me out. Wait. She already irritated me before. It's freaking me and out. Now I can't like wait to see me more, so. what your opinions of her near the end of the series are. Oh yeah, we'll, gosh. We'll see. Well, oh my god. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we have uh, we have the other episode. It was uh, eighteen. 18 was pretty much all about Ritsuko, the the other producer, I guess. Not producer-san. 
because she has a name. Um, I think the other one has a name too, but he's Honey or Producer Son or whatever. Um, but he is you. Son. His name is what? Huh? He is you. He is you. You are the you? producer. Oh, we're the producer? I thought we everyone, were the cameraman. Everyone is your idols. I thought oh, I was the cameraman. Shit. Because that's the perspective I have. He is the bone of your sword. Oh, shit. The, <laughs> bone, the bone of the ur. My god is wishing me. <laughs> My god is wishing me. Oh, man. I like, he is I the did, idol I, of your master. I really did uh, like the next episode. Uh, I think it was cool fate. that we got some character development on Ritsuko. I think that was yeah, cool. Yeah, she's a cool character. She's I just like kind her. of been in the background this whole time, and it was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And they keep hinting at his idol career. And so we finally got yeah, to man. see, like, <clears throat> you know, she's up there all all scared, and she's thinking back to when she was an idol, and they all had the green the green yeah. shit. And then in the back of the thing, all the green people. I'm not going to lie. I got, like, mini chills. I was like, oh, this is so cool. They got the green boys in the back. Or would you put little green bell the, boy? The, bell pepper they put boy? The green bell pepper boy. That yeah, was her, her fan that still sends her fan. That was How? the name of the guy? He's got to yeah. be, like, fucking... He would have been, like, five. He was that, when he she was, was like, cut to Because him, he looked like he, he was, like, 12. Like he, yeah, yeah, he looked like he was like he looked 10. like he was ten or eleven. I was like, this kid's in grade school. <laughs> How is he a fan? She was a an idol like eight years ago. He was, he was no. fucking two. Well, you Ritsuko never was only nineteen. First crush, dude. Oh, I thought she was supposed to be like twenty six. No, the, the, then yeah, you're totally getting the wrong impression. You guys are getting the wrong impression because Drew said that in a previous episode. He's like, she's old. I'm like, no, she's only eighteen or nineteen. And then he's like, oh, oh whatever. You I guys just was, let Drew's lies. No, web I thought of she was older. Like when I was mind. watching, I thought Damn. she was in her twenties. Like when we first no. started, because I was like, "Oh, she's a producer," and she keeps saying like she's a washed up idol. I was like, "Oh, well." They don't ever say like, "Oh, I used to be an idol," unless they're like kind of on the they, older side. That might kinda, be an American thing when it's like, "Well, back in my day, I was football captain." It's like, "Okay, well, you're fifty with a beer belly yeah. and a bald head." Okay, well, and <laughs> they, and eating TV dinners every night, but. <laughs> they, they sort of hint at um, probably why she stopped being an idol in this episode in seeing Scared. as it seemed like she lost a lot of her following, <clears throat> except oh, yeah. for like her devout few, mainly Green Pepper Bell Boy, whatever, Green, Green Bell, Bell Pepper, Pepper Boy. The but the, the fan peas. club brought a lot of people, and then the yeah. whole crowd turned to green green yeah. glow sticks and that was cool yeah and they were like yeah lit, eat pie eat pie oh pie oh pie. They I, thought they were oh saying, pie I thought they were saying oh pie at first that's and what i, I heard like, wait i'm pretty I sure heard, they're saying definitely boobs, heard that boobs boobs no yeah, i, mean, I was like hey this is a cool song all right. <laughs> yeah all right not like bad it. not bad i could get nice. behind this boobs 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 yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, well, at least Ritsuko is of age. Yeah, so. yeah. At least, at <laughs> least when she was all like, "I hope you'll produce my stuff to produce her son." It's like, well, that's legal. You guys can go have your yeah. date and do whatever you want. That's okay. I'm fine with this. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, as yeah. as long as there is uh, consent for producer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs to consent. He, he, he needs tends to, to get roped into things yeah. a lot. <laughs> He's the one getting. He's the one getting coerced into stuff. No. Oh, he man. is, man. Dude, poor guy. Poor guy. Uh, um, but, is, is he getting paid for for those dates? Does no, he get dude. reimbursements? He should get. Yeah, no, for, he I'm should get. You know, he get paid itemized for receipts for everything. Really. <laughs> you know that he had to pay for that, that carnival <laughs> and all those games that she was playing. And then when he got punched in the face, did his medical bills get covered because she oh, fucking I roped mean, him into the that medical shit. bill for that probably would have been like five dollars because uh, Japan has pretty good health care. Yeah. Unless he had. like his whole his eyeball was sunken in, like he needed major surgery to bring his face back to normal. <laughs> That's what we need. We need a, a, an oh. idol show a following producer yeah, like following that, where they're like, producer. I need itemized receipts. <laughs> like, how much yeah, do these costumes so cost? <laughs> I need to send this to the tailor. Like, they need to be back while by tomorrow. While she's like, like running <laughs> over to the Ferris wheel, he's like, Can I get an itemized receipt on this Ferris wheel ride, please? I need it to show two people the cost please of say each person to, total. <laughs> can you please? He's like, Our budget isn't that high. Write this. Month and we can't go into amusing parks. It's like, All right, can you please write this um, for Namco Pro Productions? Uh, uh, I need. I'm gonna need two copies of that. I need two copies. Uh, we can't do that. I need two copies. It's like if you uh, have we, to we take a picture and you print paid it. Two, I don't. You paid 200 yen for this fucking cotton candy. We can't. We don't have the way to. Do, oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna need it. I I uh, need that. 
And then he goes back and they're like, I'm sorry, we can't. We can't reimburse you for this. Our budget isn't high enough. This isn't authorized. He's like, Damn it. This wasn't my idea. We are broke right now. We are so broke. Remember that Azusa fiasco? I had to pay all those people off. Or she Speaking. ruined all of their jobs. Speaking of... <laughs> like uh, the circus animals uh, ran away. That would be great. Speaking I'd of, love uh, this. of Azusa, she gets fucking mumps. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. She's, she's, part of the, she's part of the anti-vaxxers. She's oh, part of the was this like a, a lowbrow like yeah we're also anti-vax <laughs> <laughs> she's part of the anti-vax so she's like nah, i don't believe in that her, her parents before, didn't believe in that this is way before the time this of the anti-vax that. that's why i was surprised i was like first of all this is way before that and second like don't i know ev- people get vaccines like it's very 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 <laughs> well, maybe uncommon she didn't, to get the mumps you know maybe she didn't yeah but, or she just has a terrible immune system. She's she, supposed to be she like, got the like vaccine and, you know, like 19, 20, 21, something like that. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, she has to be at least 20 because um, she was drinking in an episode. Is that right. the drinking age, 20? Yeah. That's such and a Ritsuko number. couldn't drink, remember, because she was 19. Mm. Or she's under 20. Under 20. So she's, right, I right, think right, she's right. 19. 19, maybe 18. Adult age. Yeah. Adult consenting age. consenting adult age for producer son <laughs> consenting adult they can age. both consent producer son just kind of has to go with the whims of the children because they'll cry <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but i think mark i think you're on to something i think this uh, good, right? idol master that producer son version i think that could be a producer a master hit. producer master oh producer man he's master. a master of producing all right all right i see it i well, see they, it they recently had Idol Master Side M, which was uh, covering the uh, the guys or whatever guy idols. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. watch that. But I didn't watch that either. Now they have uh, Idol Master Side P. Side, side P. P for side producer. P, yeah, yeah. For producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Owie. <coughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> I thought I thought you know I liked both episodes. I think they were fun. Um, yeah. And. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm interesting, interested to see Ritsuko come back as an idol with the green bell pepper boy. And she, you know, she becomes producer son has to take over the whole office and he just goes crazy and kills himself. But, oh, <clears throat> whoa, that's probably what's going to happen. Jeez. Like he probably get from the stress, <laughs> just commit suicide. Wow. He's like, I'm, I'm working 120 hour weeks here. Like, <laughs> it's like I don't sleep. Oh my I haven't slept in 16 days. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right. Anyways, oh, uh, I see a I see a fucking kill me somebody about the Epi song. Somebody oh, yeah, didn't I like the Epi song. You no, didn't like didn't the Opi like song? It. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a little a little strange. But. Oh, okay. Whoa. That's gonna pour into my glass from from that way. Nice. That has it's been sitting there. Explode. That has been sitting there untouched for the last uh, over an hour, and yeah, it's still uh, freaked freaked out. <clears throat> um. Well. Let's go ahead and move on to our happy hour since we're kind of lull in here. Lull. Um, yeah. <laughs> lull. Uh, I think the first one that we have to talk about, which we haven't talked about since it basically aired, is uh, the Shield Bro Hero Bro. Um, <laughs> Shield Bro Hero Bro. Good. Shield I wanted bro, to. I wanted to write out some like some questions or some talking points, something to get us started. But there's like ten episodes, and I have no idea where to begin. Um, yeah. I hate the redhead. Her sister showed up. Um, everybody sucks, pretty much. Like even the the religious, the nuns, even the and church shit. people are shitty to him. Yeah, I don't mind sucks. the pope, except for the because pope. The pope was pretty dope because he shows up and he's like, "Really? Oh, nice you, one, dude." Hey, he was yeah, like, "Really? Nice. You want me to pay a gold coin for this shit ass holy water?" And then he looks and he's, and he's like, like, "Why'd like, you bring why, the shitty you, stuff?" Yeah. And then he just fucking calls her out and he's like, "She's like, oh, you, I, I thought." I thought you hated like, it. I thought, I thought <laughs> yeah, everybody, thought everybody was just that, fucking like. him up. The king said, and he's, no, no. I just, he, when he was, what did he say to her? He was like, if you let, or God's something is open to everyone. If you let your personal biases get in the way, then you need to go repent. I was just like, oh, that's like, you know that meme with the rap battle kids? And that, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. one, he's like, <laughs> And he comes in and out of seat. Yeah, that one. That's what I yeah. fucking imagine. The kid's like, that's what I imagine when he said that. Just like, <laughs> oh, that was so good. <clears throat> the the Pope dropped some bombs on her right there. Um, I'm interested to good. see where like the relationship with the Pope and then this queen that we kind of don't really know anything about where that goes yeah. for Shield Hero and what it brings about in the 
in the show, but so they keep hinting at her, and I don't understand why they're like waiting. But I, I, I know when she like comes in and plays like a big role. But I thought that in the manga they had already like said something about her and like kind of explained a little bit. Um, because yeah, like overgetting is like these like teasers of this yeah, queen who and runs that a she different is, city. Yeah, but she's like but, there but, somehow. And then she has all this power over clearly the king and the daughters. <clears throat> right to the point where they're like oh i'm scared like i mean i understand you know you piss off the wife and you you get the backhand and your life sucks for a while <laughs> so don't but like they don't even, they don't explain anything so <clears throat> but i mean so it's it's a pretty good show like it's it's uh it is triggering yes mm-hmm. i i don't think it's like terrible um the, i think it has the like, last a lot of couple of, the last few episodes have been <clears throat> kind of stale but yeah, I mean, I feel like that's just par for the course. I think they had good moments in it, but yeah, the whole as a whole, they were kind of. I think until we get like more a, action, it's gonna be slow like this. And less, then, um, <clears> less fucking Raptalia, fucking. I'm tired of the wet over now, Fumi. Yeah, I'm. I'm it, tired yeah. of the the um, Raptalia, Philo. Ah, oh, you were gonna kiss Master. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, we're that, fighting over That was master. where I was getting a little irritated and i'm just like can we get more into like the actual world and everything mm-hmm. that's yeah. like like what's going um, on with the king and the pope and the queen and the his status that's kind of what i didn't like about um parts of log horizon <laughs> um was that it had such an interesting world um and like kind of mechanic behind everything mm-hmm. but there were episodes where fucking tiny girl was just oh, like yeah. it was all like I, I was gonna say exactly yeah. that yeah ninja girl it, ninja girl like all ninja like girl. love interest fucking, yeah it, th- those episodes kind of bore me and it's kind of annoying <clears throat> probably just because I've seen too much of it I no, mean I agree too I think it was cool the way they had the um <coughs> sorry uh the the what was it the um where he he like you know went and fixed the dragon and she got the curse, the curse and now they have that yeah. that led him to the pope um and then that also kind of you know led him to the carnival guy who was like you got to go to these other places and so it's kind of you know setting up for him to go elsewhere and find new allies i'm thinking or new enemies who knows <clears throat> um but i just they could have done it a lot faster and i the manga is pretty far ahead of the anime isn't it Mm, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No. I mean, well, it's based off of a light novel, and that's oh. already got like a couple <laughs> volumes out. <coughs> oh. So the the light um, novel's got time, but not the manga. Yeah, yeah. I Which mean, is unlike uh, Slime Guy, where they basically caught up to the manga. And that's why we um, have to wait till 2020. To 2020, yeah. And why that last I mean, episode the, sucked. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. I didn't. I didn't even know it was the last episode. I didn't. I, didn't know either. Either. I thought there was over. <clears throat> like, oh time. man, what's with this montage with the fucking opening song from the last season? I'm not gonna lie, I skipped through that whole I montage. I was, I was like, like, is this why a montage? The hell I just kept is it, it was montage. literally just skip, the whole skip, a skip, repeat skip. of a bunch of scenes, and it's like, what yeah. the fuck is going on? With I just like narrating. pulled my phone out and was, it was like, with all right, him narrating, and I just skipped through on Reddit real quick. Skip, 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 skip. New content. All right, this is where I stopped skipping. Yeah. So, but that has also based off of a a light novel too. So, Mm -hmm. and I know that there's a lot more that they haven't gotten to yet in the manga. So, yeah. But as far as uh, Shield Shield Hero guy, um, yeah, there's there's still a lot that they haven't crossed yet, and there's a lot like a lot bigger plot points and uh, characters that they have to introduce. Um. But they'll probably do that within the next couple episodes. I was just thinking they could have, they could have not had these stupid moments with Philo and Raftalia that people just don't care about. I mean, people do. They're like, there's got to yeah. be the love interest because it's the whole like, like if you look at how popular Sword Art Online is, it's basically a harem, and there's all you know. So people want that shit. I don't care. I care more about the goddamn story yeah. that's behind it. Like I'm sure like there's more people like me too who are like, fuck this shit. Yeah. Show me I feel world, like that's one of those that. like really weak and overused tropes of like yeah. isekai is like they start like forcing oh like these other world you know relationships or pe- with people there mm-hmm. and then can i, I go feel back like things with you get... to your world oh my god yeah exactly like exactly master. that no i wasn't i was like, trying to go back to his bed that's why <laughs> real world. 
that's why gate was a little bit better because they kind of ignored most that for the most part there were just like a couple occasions mm-hmm. where like they did a little bit of fan servicey stuff mm-hmm. but yeah, for the yeah. most part it, it was just like the main character in gate was like now if we were just like shut the fuck up like let me like get away from me yeah <laughs> that kind of thing. i mean i liked yeah. <clears throat> that this was different from the start but yeah like now I mean, it's it's, it's fallen fall into, into some of these tropes but yeah. I mean, that's kind of hard, like, not to do when when you have like a, a popular true. series like that, and it it is an isekai, so of course, like, they're gonna have it's some of these, like you know, cliche moments. A harem in it. anime <clears throat> has to have its cliches. Yeah. Um, the whole you mean I mean the whole genre is a giant cliche, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when you get hit by truck coon, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. just hit. Yeah, by right, by the biggest cliche, but the best cliche. <laughs> the best cliche. Truck Coon is the best, dude. Truck Coon. Truck Coon main anti main protagonist. There you go. But I mean, I'm interested to see where it goes. I still like it um a lot. I I'm interested to watch it each week because it does kind of, you know, it it triggers me and then it makes me untriggered and it brings up you know the fighting is pretty cool and I think yeah, <clears throat> I think his progression. I think personally coming from uh, like. As a person who likes MMOs, the way that he's progressing, if you think of it as a game, as a character, and he's, like, learning these new shield skills, and he's, like, learning how to make better medicine and doing that sort of thing, essentially, you know, completing side quests, I think it's interesting, because that's why I like Log Horizon, because it had the mechanics of MMO and had that all, all that sort of stuff, and so by having that, I think yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. I'd rather have more of that than the random shit honestly my favorite character though is the merchant who when he was trying to <laughs> <clears throat> when he was trying to like, He's like trying barter to hide, like, with their them. lives he was like wow yeah. what a true merchant spirit he's even treating their lives <laughs> as, as merchandise i was like this guy yeah. is the best he fucking loves shield bro it's so yeah, good. yeah yeah He's like, wow, he's got that merchant spirit. Ah, what a <laughs> great, wow. And then he does something different. He's like, oh my God, what a true merchant. Like, oh my yeah, God, this like, guy just wants to suck his dick. He's like, yeah, it's four gold, four or five gold coins. He's like, all right, well, I'll give you four. And he's like, all right. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, like, I'll give you four and you so give me easy. the reins. And he's like, I like you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Literally just says whatever he wants and he gets it. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. But. I mean, I think it's still a good show. I'm interested to see like what more comes, um, yeah, and then with the queen and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, like 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 you mentioned, it, it's interesting because they bring up this this aspect of like the main character isn't really <clears throat> overpowered. Like mm-hmm. he he still you know has like he kind of cheats the system of like the world. <clears throat> um, and he's still stronger than most people, but I mean, like he can attack. Like he can't really. He has to find other ways to defeat, you know, monsters or basically survive in the world, mm-hmm. um, especially with those huge waves <clears throat> of monsters. Um, but it, it's still enjoyable because he still finds out like creative ways and like means, especially mm-hmm. using Raftalia. <laughs> right. But I mean, like his shield is he's <laughs> he's using, you know, his, the shield to his advantage. Well, he used um, it in to, order fight to survive. Spear bro, like alone. And, and right. trap him in the thing and throw little monsters yeah. at him. And then and even the Pope was like, I thought that was really, you know, uh, resourceful of you. And then, yeah, mine, the piece of shit that nobody likes, interrupted. Mm-hmm. There was that meme where, what, like, mine is best girl. Yeah. And then someone was like, <laughs> They're, they just like, they're just like, no, they're just, they're just like, like the kid, yeah, the kid pulls out the gun, shoots someone, and then he just, the father shows up. He's like, son, why did you do that? And okay. then they, it shows the guy that got shot. He just goes, mine is best girl. And he pulls out the shotgun. Yeah, and he pulls out the <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> uh, God, she's just um, the fucking worst. Yeah. The the main issue I have now with mine and um, Spear Boy is they're just Spear now Boy? comically sp- oh, Spear, Spear Boy. I heard Spear Boy. I was like, who's Spear Boy? Yeah, I call him Spear, Spear Boy. Boy. Oh, Spear Boy. Um, because he always gets kicked guy. in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're comic the they're comically annoying now Ooh. is like mine yeah. is just like, like now this like two two bit like stupid ass character mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. shield shield guy um is just getting harassed by a spear spear boy mm-hmm. and so Philo much. just kicks him in the nuts mm. yeah <laughs> then and it's he's over. Like, oh actually Team i really Rockets have a thing for blonde uh, blonde angels Basically, and right. it's just like <laughs> yeah. dude that oh is a God. child 
Yeah, like, that is so creepy. No, no, she's yeah. she's ancient. She's the queen of all birds. He's actually she it's was actually born. She was born like two weeks ago. It's actually bestiality. <laughs> yeah, she was literally born like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's bestiality. That's what it is. It's um, it's pedophilic bestiality. Yeah, which we don't condone which we either. Don't condone. No. <laughs> That's not yeah. okay That's either. Just as bad. The UN not doesn't worse, condone just it. Just as bad. No. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I, I really, I think they're like Team Rocket. They're just, you know, we're here. Uh, we did something, but yeah. we fucked up, and now I get kicked in the nuts, and I fly off, and then we leave. Yeah, yeah. Else except if better. Team Rocket tried to <clears throat> like end Ash's life, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it. Like some of the stunts they pull some of the stunts, would yeah, kill but, everybody. But <laughs> like, except, except the for the fact that you know everything uh, they do is very deadly. Sh- th- this anime tries yeah. to at least be somewhat have keep somewhat of your um, expectations of realism, quote unquote. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah realism. Right. Realism. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyways, I'm looking forward to the next episode. We have two more. Those. I think. I think so. Two yeah, more. I don't think it's thirteen. I hope they're I better than this like last couple. More yeah. exciting. Well, next next week we'll get coming. the uh, what the monsters come. What do they yeah, call that? The, the wave. Wave. wave yeah. The tower defense. The wave. The tower defense <laughs> yeah, the t- stage. Oh, the wave. <laughs> um, the wave. And so it'll be more exciting. I I personally think just and then you know you after the last wave some cool stuff happened so I'm excited for the next two but um. Uh, mm-hmm. The other show we've got here on our happy hour is Kaguya. Ka- Kaguya-sama wants to Kaguya's be confessed to, or whatever it's Love called is in war. Japanese. Love is war. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I see something here. We're going to end around chapter 60 of the manga. That's what my assumption is. I was <laughs> looking through it and trying to um, find out where we were, and we're nearing episode or nearing chapter 60, mm-hmm. which seems like a... Uh, um, Excuse me like a good stopping point um because uh they kind of um they kind of fake you out in it so uh it it's pretty pretty much the logical ending i think because next Mm. episode's definitely the fireworks um because they were like let's go fireworks in this episode let's go watch the fireworks at the summer yeah i think you mentioned that like um before that they're gonna do that later on um but i don't are we gonna get to that point? Because it seemed like we're they not were gonna. Planning this. So after a little bit after mm-hmm. um, another character shows up in the manga, um, things get like really funny, and there's a lot more stuff. Like Ichigami gets a lot of um, uh, character development, which they hinted at a little bit in this episode. So I don't know. I kind of hope they get another season, but I doubt it because this is the type of show that they just get publicity for the manga with the anime, and then mm-hmm. it's just like you follow the. All of the manga afterwards. Mm. Right, right. I mean, I'd like another season. I think it's funny to watch. It's entertaining. I like to watch it while I eat. It is funny. Because, like, you don't <laughs> miss much if you miss a sentence or whatever. That's it's my uh, totally Saturday morning um, tradition Saturday now is to Saturday, eat. Saturday morning Saturday. cartoons? Oh, Saturday sure. morning <laughs> cartoons, yeah. Nice. Eat breakfast no more Spider and watch Man. Song, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to do it, you know. that's I th- I'm pretty sure that's like my Saturday afternoon. I'm like, yeah, I'll just watch this real quick. Um, I think I watched it yesterday morning, which is kind of ironic. Yeah, did you eat breakfast? <laughs> you eat breakfast with it? No, I was just lying in bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, you know, you got your sleep breakfast while watching it, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Is there anything to talk about for this show? I mean, Mark, you were mentioning you had something you want to talk about for the show as a whole. Um, animation. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, this was something I kind of thought about, uh, like last week and yesterday again, is the different use of animation when they go into like these kind of internal monologues, um, or even just throughout the show at various points, like animation style, the characters, the way that they look or the way that they're, um, drawn, some of the color uses, it, like it changes, you know, drastically from like one segment to the next. Um, and you get a lot of those like backgrounds that are prevalent in manga, like some of like the um, slatted like lines, like horizontal lines or like the dotted backgrounds or just kind of like moving pieces that are just um, 
very like simply drawn. Uh, but then it also like switch it up into like these like super hyper realistic uh, images of the characters when they're like you know troubled or something or, like shocked or something. Or you'll get the simplistic ones like Kaguya yesterday where she was just like <laughs> like brain dead. Yeah. And yeah. she's like, she's yeah, like, yeah, you're not gonna nice. be able to make her do what you want. You just just give up. And she was like, yeah. Ah. They they do actually um they do a really good job of keep like uh capturing the vibe of the manga and like the style mm-hmm. of it in my opinion yeah i think that's why i really enjoy the show so much is and and i feel like i i sometimes will get tired of like uh kind of like these mini episodic uh mm-hmm. shows um especially some of like the the, com- the comedic ones like uh they usually Asobi 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 yeah. is like they the, which was the fun jokes over and over and over so. yeah but i feel like that's like the, that's the issue that they fall into is like they'll kind of use the same like some of like the same humor like um, but at least Boken. like with yeah but at least like with oh, kaguya yeah. I, the fact that they it, like switches up the animation style and like the the comedy is like a little bit different like they'll do some of like the same like chica jokes but i still think like i like the characters so that's still funny I mean, to they me. don't overdo it where it's right. like three times in an episode they'll and then the thing i think that they do really well <clears throat> is when they reuse a joke is instead of like making it its whole like its own skit for a whole length they'll just plop it in there for like five seconds and then immediately go back to something else and so it's just like this thing where they're like hey this funny joke and it's gone and so and then it'll be mm-hmm. gone for a few episodes and then they bring it back really quickly or for a longer period of time and you're like that's really funny and then they cut it they have really good comedic timing, I think, with that. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus the callbacks too, with like all the the Chica, like the detective, yeah. and like what the Love Doctor Chica. Uh-huh. Love Doctor Chica. <laughs> I I yeah. liked this episode where they got to the end and Chica's like, "Your bangs are long and you're stupid," and then he's like, "I'm gonna <laughs> leave now," and they're like, "No." You're yeah. in the right this time. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Cause she was like, I'm going on vacation. You can't go without me. And he's like, well, that's stupid. You're already going on yeah. vacation. She's like, you're stupid. And then <laughs> runs off. Yeah. <laughs> Chika and Ishigami have like a fucking, their, <clears throat> their conflict with each other is just very basically like opposite between mm-hmm. the two of them. It's kind of funny. I thought yeah. it was good. I, but, I liked yeah. the way that they animated that scene though, where they were both, just paused with their hand like on his back like you're okay and they just it was yeah. super simple there wasn't a lot going on it was kind of dark and they were just like no you're in the right and it just like paused yeah. there for a while <laughs> it just i don't know i for that it like made it funnier just because you could see his face where he's super sad and they're just like dead because chica doesn't make any sense to them they're just like she's literally an anomaly so I think also this episode really solidified that um, they did make the right choice with Ishigami's voice actor. Yeah, he's he been getting did pull better, the better. he did pull that like switch to the um, oh, kind of the extravagant the <laughs> like, Are you kidding yeah. me? Are you kidding? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because like, yeah. really well. like that's well, a lot really more. Loud. <laughs> that's a lot yeah. more how he's like um, when he because when he shows up a lot more now. Um, so mm-hmm. like you guys are kind of getting introduced to him. Um, pretty late into the series, but that's kind of what he's more like rather than the, um, mm. I want to kill myself. He's like, like really yeah. like, blah, and then he's like, ah, like big. No, I, I, yeah, I enjoy that. Like drastic switch yeah. between his character. It's, it's fun. And then I, he's I like, love, well, you're really loud. Yeah. Uh, first of all, <laughs> he's like, wow. Once he gets started, he doesn't stop or he keeps going. He's like, let's dial it back here, buddy. <laughs> is she no, stupid? <laughs> their relationship too is actually like really, it's like real super wholesome. Yeah. Like Ishigami and Shiragane, like, cause it's they're just, bro. you know, they're just bros. bros. Like, they're yeah. just bros. And he's like, you know, I really want to like hang out this summer. And I think this is like. The only time we we can and he's like oh yeah. shit i forgot i have bro friends i should yeah, right. probably hang out with he's like oh i should probably hang out with the bro and not ditch him for the for the chick for yeah, one he's <laughs> like there's more to summer than just girls it's like learn from that if you're you want to keep your friends already <clears throat> if you're yeah, in high yeah. school or elementary school and you think girls are everything they're not <laughs> keep your bros the the bros before hoes sometimes makes a lot of sense <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Those are wise wise words. Wise, wise words. words. Wise words. You got to have your friends once you become an adult and you're like, man, you just need that core solid group. Yeah. It's good, my guys. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else on <laughs> about Kaguya? 
Um, oh, excuse me. I don't know. I mean, other than the fact that I think it's going to end around chapter 60. Um, That's pretty far in like a manga when you think about it. Well, a lot of a lot of it in the beginning was rehashed, and they skipped a lot in the beginning. Oh, right, because of the serialization change. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. like, they skipped a whole arc where, um, which I don't know if they'll make an OVA about it. I don't doubt it. But um, they skipped a whole arc in the beginning where, do you remember the whole movie ticket thing? Mm. Trying to ask yeah, each other's yeah, yeah. movies. Right. They actually they, like, go to... Up, but... Right. They actually go to the movies, and then um, that's where um, <laughs> Kaguya finds out that um, Shirogane doesn't have a cell phone. And so right. and there's a whole goes, plot to get him to get a cell phone, and that's why like, right. in the next episode he has a cell phone, and they're like, oh, he has a cell phone, and she's trying to get his his line um, uh, number, I guess. Line number. Line username, yeah, whatever. Line email is what they call it. Line? Line? The line. Lime, as they call it in, in as they, as Lime. As they call it Lime. <laughs> they call it Lime? Is it, is it Lime? What? It's, it's Lime, but they say Lime in <laughs> Is in N the show. hard to... S- oh, in the show they say Lime? Oh, because they can't say Lime. Because yeah. they can't say it's Lime. It's like saying, it's oh, I didn't get Coca-Cola. I got Cozy's Colas or something. <laughs> Cozy's. I got... Or they'll show like their phone and it's not an apple. It's like yeah, a banana it's a or pear. something. It's just a pear, some other yeah. fruit. Yeah. Oh, I got my yeah. pear phone recently. Did you guys see that? Uh, that's funny. Sick. <clears throat> Sick, bro. Sick, dude. Yeah. Sick. Um, Sick. Well, uh, if there's anything anything else for anime Read shows, the dude? manga of Kaguya. It's you will good. not... You will not be disappointed. You will not be I think I'm going to wait until the series, this season is over, and then I'll, I'll continue reading it. Yeah, yeah. I'll just have to ask you where, where it picks up hmm. or where to pick up. Uh, but I'll do ar- that. Probably going to be around chapter 60. <laughs> well, I want to know for sure. <laughs> so I'm not just fumbling around yeah, like chapters. around chapter 60. <laughs> I, I hop in at chapter 60, and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on or who any of these characters like, what are. what the fuck? There's like 15 new characters. <laughs> I'm getting they're not it. even in high school anymore. What the heck? I was, no, I was oh my looking, god, they're adults. They have children. I was looking through it today. No, I I was looking through it today to see where we were and um chapter okay, 60 okay. looked like a like a where the anime would end this season. Like okay, a good okay. place to be. <clears throat> hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um <laughs> well <laughs> On that note, um, oh, let's uh, do a little of our closing announcements. Um, that's all we have for anime. So some anime news here that I'm seeing. We got Dr. Stone is set for July release and more info on main staff. Who put that one there? Who's that? Is that yeah. So this is kind of like, a, I guess, a continuation from last week where I said that there's a ton of like manga adaptations coming out this year. Mm. So there's two more that I didn't even know about. Mm. Uh, so Dr. Stone is one of the kind of top ranking um, manga mm. series like that's kind of currently running in Shonen Jump. Um, so this um, is by the author who did Sun Can Rock, if can, anybody's familiar with that. Can I interrupt that. you for a second, Mark? Your mic yeah, yeah, is, yeah. Cutting, is cutting out a lot. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. What a bummer. Is it? Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. It just happened, mm. started happening. That's weird. <clears throat> Still? Well, let's, uh, should I just continue on? Should I try to fix something here? Let me play around with this. Um, Whoa. is it Thanks, cutting Alexa. out in, it, it's cutting out, um, like it just sounds like really garbly and there's a lot of, um, just parts of his audio dropping. Talk Mark. That's weird. Um, I don't know. Is it, I'm not sure why, why that's happening. Is it fixed now? No. 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 Well, I don't oh. Know. It sounded okay. Oh. Oh. It oh. still cuts out a little bit, but I guess we'll just have we'll to, have to deal it. with it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Dr. Stone is uh, currently running in uh, Shonen Jump, um, and I think they're slated to release in July for the anime. Um, it's really popular. I couldn't really get into it. It's uh, it's like this post-apocalyptic thing where the entire world turns to stone except for one guy who is on a mission to save his like first love. To save Mars. 
save Mars? What? Nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Like um, but is there's like some zero? other people that like start like coming back to life, and uh, he's like trying to recreate civilization. Oh. Um, it, it, one I mean, it was with his smartphone. At a time. With not with, with his, his smartphone. Creating smart civilization one female at a time. He's, he pulled he's his like iPhone out. Genius. He's like, yeah, his, hey, his I'm iPhone. here to recreate civilization. Oh, Let me <laughs> whip out my. He actually phone. Had pulls a, out an iPhone. iPhone. He actually doesn't doesn't have uh, infantile amnesia, so he just remembers everything. <laughs> yeah. He he also doesn't have um, adolescent amnesia where he forgets everything that happened after being an infant. But he does <clears> have <throat> adult amnesia, so he oh, doesn't wow. remember anything after <laughs> adolescence. Oh <laughs> man! Dude. Oh my Damn. god! Damn. Damn. No, we're totally I'm totally bullshitting. So he's that. a that's thirty year old, but he still uh, thinks he's not a, true an though. adolescent. Oh no, god! No, no, that's no, just no, asking shit. for a pedophile. That's not true at all. The UN does not accept this. Um. No, 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 not, not true. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't listen to that. <laughs> uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a popular show or it's a popular series. Um, we'll see how well it does as an anime. Um, so the, and the next one that I have on there is uh, B stars, which is also kind of B-Stars. one of these like cult B-Stars. shows. Uh, that's like, it's got like this cult following that's, uh, it sounds really weird and it's going to sound crazy. Uh, but I'll read the synopsis to you. Um, so the manga takes place in a world of carnivores and herbivores where there's a lot of hope, love, and anxiety. Rigoshi is a wolf who is a member of Cheriton Academy's drama club. And even though he's a wolf, he's very sensitive. The manga follows the adolescent life of Rigoshi and many other animals. Uh, so it, it, it looks like this, like, really dark series. Um, and they're, like, liking it to, like, uh, um... What is this? Uh, My Hero, I guess, because they said they, it won uh, Kodansha's awards in May. Hmm. So it's supposed to be this really good series. I haven't read it at all, um, but I've been hearing a lot of stuff about it. So that's oh. slated to release in October. It was ranked number two on Kono Manga Gasugoi on the male readers list in 2017. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. um, I know that um, that list as kind of like where a lot of people find show or <clears throat> manga that they that are pretty good that end up being adapted mm-hmm. like um uh koino katachi was uh i think it was a winner on like both male and female on that list um uh, yeah i think so I think you're right. yeah so um so yeah that's getting a, an anime and that's coming out in october but yeah a lot of people are exci- actually really excited for that so Ooh. i'm kind of i think i might just wait until the anime comes out and not really read it but we'll see is this is is that what you're talking about right here? This little guy, he's hugging a, a rabbit. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Well, I pulled up an image. I also accidentally pulled up like my desktop. Nice. Um, oh, my desktop. All files. that porn, dude. All that <laughs> no, porn. I really know. Um, yeah, taxes. Stuff 2015. one, stuff two. <laughs> taxes. <yeah. laughs> social security number. You know, all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, um, he has a social security number in the file name so that he can yeah, easily see it. So that I can easily yeah. find it. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> homework folders. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> He's got stuff one, stuff two. Yeah. He got a whole terabyte of stuff. <laughs> oh my god. No, please, three terabytes. Thank no, no, no. Three spindles uh, of CDs. Yeah, three spindles of CD. I have, I have stuff one through sixty four. Okay, one to sixty four. I have so many CDs of stuff. Oh my god! I don't even know. There's like an episode and a half per CD. I have to like change CDs sometimes. It's crazy. At least he doesn't have a bunch of floppy disks of. <laughs> Fucking. You have like a whole bookshelf. <laughs> Like what are all please these? Insert, what are all these floppy please, disks? Please Just insert black. Please insert floppy. disc five of sixty five <laughs> to get the oh whole fucking God. video out of it. <laughs> you get fucking ten like ten seconds per <laughs> floppy disk. You're like, oh my god. Alright, and what? I don't think you can you can fit like five JPEGs on yeah. there. <laughs> I think we just dated yeah. ourselves right now. <laughs> we are, we are. Just I, a little bit. I did actually use a floppy disk in um in school to bring my like bring my your word, word documents to document print it in the to, in the to, computer lab with me yeah to computer i lab. have one at my desk <laughs> that i found in like my office somewhere and i was like oh my <laughs> god You're this like, is awesome yeah, dude, so no cool. one can there's no way to fucking input this into my computer yeah 
Yeah, like, but it, that's it's just, there. And, like, honestly, I'm going to get like a floppy disk reader and I'm going to put all my most secretive documents on floppy disks. And be like, you well, can't. You would not be able to fit like anything besides. No, like, no. You just... can put like I'm going to put secret <laughs> word documents on there. People, uh, are, people aren't going to know. They're going to be like, fuck. What are how we big doing? is your how Word we... document, though? Is it what? less than 3.5 megabytes? Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be like <laughs> 600 kilobytes. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll just be, you know, oh like gosh. social security number named social security number. Um, anyways, um, Ida Rico <laughs> making her solo debut this summer. Rico form yeah. LLSS, Rolando. That's um, so uh, the voice actress for um, Sakurachi Rico in Love Live Sunshine. Um, Ida Rico, she's be uh, she is making her solo debut as a singer this summer. Um, she. So it says in the article, it is confirmed today that the 26-year-old voice actress Rika Koida will make her solo singer debut as the first artist from DMM.com and A Sketch's co-established new label, DMM Music slash Astro Voice. Wow. You know, they couldn't have been any worse at naming their label. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she is... Um, mostly known for her role as Sakurachi Riko in Love Live Sunshine. So, uh, yeah, she is also, it says in here, voicing or doing the um, vocals for the ending theme song for the upcoming TV adaptation of rom com manga. Wait, where is it? It I doesn't say the name of the manga. I don't think it exists. <laughs> oh, Senryu Girl. Oh, so that's coming out next season, and I have a feeling it is. Drew is going to watch that. So I think totally because, will. especially because I'm pretty sure Hanazawa Kana, uh, Hanazawa Kana is voicing uh, the main girl. Oh. So she is, yes. I see nice. it here. I just pulled it up. I just um, assumed main because girl? I watched the preview of it, and it was like, that sounds like Hanazawa Kana. <laughs> so mm. yeah, Drew's probably going to end up watching that one. I'll watch it probably, but. That is that news? Maybe I don't know. Um, and then um, last, Mark, you found this one. Romcom Snafu. Yeah, oh, I just saw that title. Um, so Romcom Snafu is getting a third season. I don't know. I know nothing about get, that. I, I know I watched know the first season. Seasons. I didn't know that there was a second one. There I was. I don't think I ever watched it. One season. There was a second season. I don't, I don't think I ever watched it. Is it good? Drew hates this show absolutely. Um, I don't hate it i think it's fine it's yeah i mean great. like the first season was like it was fun i i kind of just like the main character is just fucking a, a absolute pain in the ass to to just watch yeah i feel like that's kind of why i just kind of slogged through it i think at the time i didn't really have much else to watch like on my plate so i was like going through some of like the older series um why don't you yeah watch i don't something know good then like Naruto know. or Naruto. Or but you mean Naruto? Boruto's dad? Yeah, Boruto's dad. Oh, nice, dad. nice, nice. Yeah, Boruto's yeah. dad. Sakura's, uh, yeah. Sakura's uh, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You, know, Sa- you mean Sasuke's lover? Yeah, Sasuke's lover. Na- All right. <laughs> getting a little too... Getting a little too out of... Uh, off off, off kilter to- here. Off topic. Um... Well, there's a third season of Rom-Com Snafu. I've never seen it. I don't think we've seen season two. I have. You have. Uh, and then the fourth one who isn't here hates it. So Hates it. You know, check it out if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, with that, I think that's all the news that we have. Um, I do have one question in regards to the beer, actually. So, Rolando, both you and I and Mark, I think we've all talked about Guinness in this You've had you're the only one here who has had both in the same sitting. So at the same, <laughs> at, at the same time, the same day, same night, same sitting. Um how do they compare? What's your kind of last thoughts on that? I don't know. I still kinda of like Guinness a little bit more. Um not to say that the um whatever this is called. The, uh, the innocent, innocent gun, gun kindred, kindred, gun. kindred, gun. kindred it's spirits. It's like a dyslexic form of Guinness. <laughs> um well, honestly yeah uh I, un- not to say that this is a bad beer because this beer isn't bad like no, it's, uh, not, it, it's no, a good. it's a pretty good beer mm-hmm. but um i'm probably i, I just 
I I mean I like I like Guinness. We'll it's it's fine. It's like a okay beer. It's probably if I were to rate Guinness, I'd probably rate it a three and a half, which is lower than three seven five. But um, I mean, <laughs> I I would rather yes. drink Guinness um, because it's cheaper mm -hmm. and you get yes. more of them. just as easy to drink. It's not as strong as a the, six um, pack of Guinness is cheaper than the four pack of this. Yeah, it, so. it's not it's not as strong as as the uh, the Kindred Spirits, but at the same time, it's uh, it's also just a lighter kind of mm -hmm. taste to it. It's a little sweeter. It's creamier um, because of the nitrogen infusion. I think it fits um, the like American stout palate a little better with a the little, creaminess yeah. versus water. And the, it is and the watery, sweetness to but, it. Yeah. Um, the the only thing is like um, I don't know. I would say that maybe mm. the Guinness Extra Stout might compare a little bit more to this guy, um, mm, in terms maybe. of flavor. And that goes and back alcohol to naming conventions. Extra. That's another yeah. one of the ones. Yeah, Extra Stout. <laughs> I believe the Extra Stout is like five point six percent. What ABB is regular or something Guinness? Like that. Is it like four point five? It's like four point one. I want to say. Let me see on here. Where does it come on? Where on this can are you gonna say? It's on the box. Does 4. not 2. say four point two. I was close. Four point one. Four point two. Mm -hmm. Um, it was in between yeah. four point one and four point five. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I would rather drink Guinness to be if we're being. Completely I think it's honest. really versatile too because you can make Irish car bombs out of it. Um, hey, we don't say that here, dude. Oh, uh, what do they call yeah. them? What do you call them when you're trying let's to be, be politically correct? Let's be, let's be, let's be a little, let's be a little kinder to the. Uh, well, what the are pocket. they? What do you? What do you call them when you're being politically correct? I don't know what they're. I don't know. You just, I'm just memeing you, dude. But I, I'm pretty I mean, sure they don't do appreciate get, that. There's, people there's do get upset about it. I'm pretty yeah, sure people they don't do get upset that. about it. I just don't know the other name for it. Um, Irish uh, stout whiskey bomb. Because it is a bomb. You <laughs> drop the. It's just like a socket bomb. You you bomb the alcohol. So, anyways, um, cool. I cool. think the best policy is to just not not call uh, it that. Not, not call talk it. about one. Not just, call it that. Yeah, just yeah. fight club it. Just fight club it. Just don't talk about it. Right, yeah, yeah. I got just you, don't I talk about it. Just yeah. make them in your own home and just don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, <clears throat> anyways, uh, that's all we have today. Uh, for anime on draft, um, I'm going to go ahead and just remind you of all of our social media. So we've got our WordPress. It's anime on Our Twitter, you just add us. I'm going to get it right this time at anime on draft. Just add us. Um, we there also have go. Instagram, which is anime on draft podcast, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube. Just search for anime on draft. And then if you have any topics, business proposals, just stuff you want business us. Business proposals. Yeah, who sure. knows, man? Who knows? Anything. Whatever you feel like, feel free to email us, animeondraft at gmail.com. And those are all the ways you can reach us. Uh, keep an eye out. We will be back next week with all four of us, most likely, um, <laughs> for <laughs> okay. episode 91. It's an uncertainty to it. A little bit yeah. of uncertainty because we never really know, but most likely we're going to have all four of us. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. If you want to see pictures of the beer or whatever posts, we may have those on our Instagram and stuff. Just, you know, check it out and see what we got. Oh, out it's already there. up there. Well, yeah, we got one. We got one up there, the bottle. Um, but All I'll right. post the, the beer itself on there, too. All right. Sounds good. But uh, with that, thanks for watching and have a good night. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Listen to the music, boys and girls. <laughs> 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 <laughs>